Alright, what's up guys, this is Foops, and I just found out something sick. I got a Steam message, sorry, but I'm going to tell you guys how to, sh um, how to record, you uh, how to record videos of Minecraft using Shadowplay. So, Shadowplay just had a new update today. Um, I think I'm on driver, uh, what is it, 337.50, and it added... Release highlights, performance. Well, it doesn't really say it on here. Let's see if it says it on here. I think this is where I read it. Right here. Um. Oh, maybe it didn't. Where is it? I don't know. But I was reading the driver update. Maybe this is the one that did it, but I never read it. Uh, whatever. Okay, I was reading the driver update, and it had uh, shadow play updates, so you could uh you can record using desktop mode so what does that mean allow desktop capture so right now I'm recording my desktop with shadow play right now and you can still see shadow play I hope I never really tried this just just came out I guess so what do you do is you open up minecraft record desktop mode right so you can see what I'm doing right now I'm gonna go to bad line or whatever and you can see that guy type it in chat Uh, yeah, so you can see I got type in the chat, I mean Twitch, but you can see everything, right? So, when I make this video, you're not gonna, I'm gonna show this for a little bit, this part right here, but you're not gonna be able to see it after, because when I go into Sony Vegas, let's open up Vegas Pro so you guys can see. When I go into Sony Vegas, let's put this video that I recorded earlier, this video right here, no. I made a custom crop so this is how it started off this is how it started off and then I went like this and I cropped it a little bit so you gotta do it like this in Sony Vegas or something crop it down like that and now like you can't like you can see it right there in the bottom right a little bit let's make this a little bigger if I can the bottom right, right there you can see it a little bit you just need to crop it a little more just like like that just a little bit more and now you can't see it so it's like a regular recording so now you see the regular recording. It's from earlier. I was watching a movie. I I seen the update and tried it out. But look, see that little part right there? So I kinda made a perfect crop. I saved it as Minecraft Shadow Play. And this one should not crop out those books that you seen there. See look. I made it perfect. Except for the bottom part's a little cropped out, so let me give that little fix right now. that is mess it up uh, I think that only reason it does that is because I'm trying to crop out that little part right there so well I guess it is perfect basically because you can barely see the bottom of that right there so let me just move that back up I'm sorry I dragged it to my other screen let me just move that back up above that little make sure both of these are on the corners alright that's good I guess the only reason it's doing that because it's disabled resampling, which I have a custom thing for. But, so now I just made it tw like 20 times easier to record. And you get like 0 FPS drop of shadow play. It's like amazing. So, there's basically a little tutorial on how to crop it out a little bit with Sony Vegas. I don't know how to do it with Windows Movie Maker. But that's how you record Minecraft using shadow play now. It's pretty awesome. Because you get like 0 FPS drop on like fraps and it doesn't cap your FPS and all that stuff. So expect to see a lot more videos from me because now I can record whenever I want to. Cause, and I can do playback. That's the sweet thing about shadow play. Um, there's a manual, there's a shadow playback mode. So say if somebody accuses me of hacking, I can hit all F10 and it'll go back the last 20 minutes and record the last 20 minutes of desktop stuff that I did uh, on this desktop right here. And I can just go back to the part where they said I was hacking or whatever go back and record the whole fight and I'll be done. I mean, it's pretty sick, dude. Like this is going to change everything basically for my for my videos on on Minecraft on YouTube. See you guys.
I just want to turn my mic on to tell you guys how smooth this is. Look at this. 220 FPS while recording. I think this is 30 FPS. It might be 60. But just look at this. Just look. Just look. This is Shadow Play on all high. I don't know what high is. Oh, it's 60 FPS. Recording in game resolution. 60 FPS. Shadow Play, dude. Shadow Play desktop mode. It's the best way to record right now. <laughs> look at my little cape. It flaps. Oh, I didn't even get a new kit. Whatever. Let's go, baby. I'm just, like, so happy about this program. It's not even funny, dude. Like, it's, like, sick, dude. I don't even see how I could record without this, dude. 177 FPS. 200 while I'm recording. While I'm recording, dude. I mean, I've never got that. Like, dude, nothing compares to Shadowplay, period. And especially, it only works if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, so... Like, it's the best, dude. I use this for, like, Battlefield 4, all my Battlefield 4 videos, all my Counter-Strike videos. But it doesn't support Minecraft yet, because Minecraft runs OpenGL. And, um, freaking all the other games run DirectX. I'm not gonna lose this, I don't even care. Oh, I won. Alright, well, guys, as you can see, you guys can see the FPS in the top left, and you guys are watching this. This program is freaking amazing. I've been using Shadowplay for everything, though. But Minecraft because it didn't support Minecraft. Now I can throw away Fraps, DX Tori, all the other junk, and I'll just have to crop the stuff. Like you won't see the my taskbar right now because I'm gonna crop it down like I showed in the video. See ya.